hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create a simple note taking app in react.js so here you can see our app interface and in the middle we can see start adding your notes message we can start adding the notes by clicking on this plus button after clicking on this plus button we have this dialog box open and in this pop-up we can add our note title and the details so we can add note title and we can add a note details over here after clicking on this add button we can see that our note is present over here and that message has been gone now we can add another message note title 2 and this is another test note click on add so it has been added and we can delete the notes so if i click on this delete for this note title 1 then it has been deleted now we have only present note title 2 if we click on this delete button for this note then that is also gone and we have this start adding your notes message present on our screen so this is what we are going to implement today in this tutorial and in my previous tutorial i have already created this ui by using material ui if you are interested about that then you can definitely check that out from the i icon of this video or the link in the description below and if you find these tutorials interesting to you then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial okay so this is our ui in which we are going to implement the note taking app and this is what we have implemented in our previous tutorial and if we check our codes then we can see within our grid we are displaying each card in a grid item separately so that means it's static now it's not dynamic first i want to make it dynamic i want to provide our dummy data over here so i can make it a node data and in this node data i will provide some dummy data and by using this data i will create the cards dynamically so first let's get rid of all these cards then within this curly brace we can use node data dot map property and within this map for each item we can return our card and for this card we can provide this item prop and we can use this item prop in our custom card component so save it and within our custom card component we can accept the item prop so here i am destructuring this item prop by using this curly brace now here instead of this image url i can use item dot image and similarly for title i can provide item dot title and for the details i can use item dot details which is this field right now save it so now our app is rendering dynamic data from our node data array right now i will provide few buttons at the bottom of the cards so for that here i can use card actions and within card actions i can use button for the button size i will use small for the color of it i will use primary and first i will provide share button and next i will provide delete now save it now we can see that we have this share and delete button present so we will implement the delete functionality in our app and we will add note from this dialog box right and for the note we don't need these image files so we can get rid of this card media so this is how our note taking app will look like so now let's start implementing note taking app so for that first here i am creating a state called notes and we will set it by using set notes and i will use use state hook and make sure you import this use state hook from react now after that within this bracket we can provide initial data or default data for this note state and here we will use this node data array which is our demo data right and by using this node state we can display data over here so instead of using node data we can use nodes state here 
now save it now after saving it nothing changes so it's working fine so that means right now we are displaying the data from state now let's implement the adding functionality first but before that let's see what details will be contained in a note so we will have the title and details for a note and along with it we will provide an id to it and we don't need any image for our note so we will not consider it so we will just consider these three fields so now after this state we can create handle add note function and here we will accept title and the details of the note now let's console log this thing so to test it i'm just using the title now we need to pass this function as a prop to our form dialog by which we are handling the add note functionality so this is our form dialog component so here i'm creating this on submit prop and within this on submit prop i will provide this handle add note function and by this we can access this function in our form dialog component in our form dialog we can get this on submit and we can use it here for this add button on click we are providing this handle close function which is the same for the cancel button and by this handle close we are closing the dialog box so that is okay but along with this we will create handle submit and within this handle submit we will provide on submit which is the prop which we are getting from our app.js component so we will get access of this handle at node function so here we can provide the title and the details so for this on submit we need to provide this title and the details and this title and the details will be updated by these fields so for that here i am creating a state over here and it will be note and we can update it by set note and here also i will use use state hook and that we can access from react dot use state so this is another way to get access to the use state hook as in this field we have imported react from react so we can provide use state hook by providing react dot hook name and in this app js we haven't imported the react from react so that's why i haven't used react dot use state i have used use state directly and this time use state needs to be imported from react and this time it will be within this curly brace right so here we are using note state and within this form dialog component we are using note state so that means a single note and for a single note we will have title and then we will have details and this is our initial value for our note now for the text field on change i can update the note so this is for the title so here i provide the id title and we will update the title so title will be e dot target dot value so we will get the value of this field and we will assign that value to the title field of the note state and before that we will destructure note state by using these three dots so that means we will have all the value present in note we are not updating any other fields except title and similarly for these details i will provide the similar thing and this time it will be details i want to update the details only and other than that we will destructure all the fields value by using this three dot and it will be id details and now i can use those title over here by using node dot title and node dot details and now use this handle submit function for this add button now save it now let's check it but before that inspect element go to our console and here we can see we have a warning we need to provide key prop so within this for each grid we need to provide key and here for the key i can provide item dot id for each id we have unique value and this key should be unique for a list we are generating a list over here so now save it let's reload it once 
now we don't have that warning let's click on this plus button and after clicking on it we have a warning over here and we cannot do anything about this warning it is coming from material ui let's ignore it so i can clear the console i can type a title over here let's select this note title and a detail now click on this ad after clicking on this ad we can see title and the title is the title which we have provided in the title field so that means this console log is executing so from this form dialog component we are passing this title value to our handle add note function in app.js component so here we can add the note in our note state so let's create a new note and a note will contain id and we will generate the id by using this math random so it will be unique id for each note and then after that we will provide the title and the title will be the title which we will accept then we will have the details and it will be the details which we will accept then after that we can create new node data by using notes dot concat new node we are adding this new node to our node state now after that we can set nodes with our new node data so it will update our state and as we are rendering the data from our state so it will automatically update it so let's see save it now check it now add the title click on add now after clicking on add we can see that a note has been added we can add another note so note adding functionality is working fine now we need to implement the delete functionality so here after this handle add note let's create handle delete note function and here we will accept the id of the note let's console log it first to check it and now let's provide this function as a prop to our custom card component so i have created this on delete prop and within this on delete i will provide this handle delete note function now i can access it in our custom card component so after this item we can get this on delete and for this delete button i can provide on click and for this on click i can provide this on delete function and within this on delete function we need to provide the id of the item and i can access that by using item dot id now save it now let's see our console if i click on this then let's see we can see note id 5 if i click on the first item then we can see note id 1 if i click on this one then we can see a number which is generated by math dot random function right so we are getting the note id now we can start implementing the delete functionality here so here it will be new note data then we will filter our notes and we will check each item with the id fields so we are filtering all the items which are not matching with the id passed to this function so by this new node data we will get all the data except the data for which we have passed the id and now we can set nodes by using our new node data now save it now let's see if i click on this second one click on this delete button then we can see note id 2 and that note has been deleted if i click on this last one note title 1 then we can see the note id as we have seen previously and the note has been deleted so our note addition and deletion functionality is working fine now i want to get rid of this demo data and that is pretty simple we don't need to use this node data as initial data we can use this empty array save it now we can see that we don't have any data so we can provide a checking over here notes dot length if notes dot length equal to zero that means notes array is empty then we will display a message otherwise if we have any notes present then we will display this grid our card and here within a div i can provide a text by using typography for the typography variant 
I will use H1 for the color of it I will use text secondary for its component I will use paragraph and I want to display this message now save it so now we can see start adding your note here message now I want to provide some styling to it we can provide inline style like this for the width of this div I will provide 100% for padding top i will provide 200 and for this typography style i will provide text align center so now it's looking good now let's add a note and right now it's focusing on this details field let's change that so we don't need this auto focus for this details field we have auto focus for title now let's refresh this now after clicking on this we are focusing on the title now add a title and add a detail for the note click on add so it has been added we have added three notes let's delete one delete another one so it's working fine and finally we have deleted all so we have this message so it's working perfectly fine right so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye